walk before me and be perfect. Come on, what does that mean? What does it mean to be perfect? Well, it obviously doesn't mean to be sinless, because David wasn't sinless. And David was perfect in all his generation. Jacob wasn't sinless, but they were perfect. Abraham, be perfect, right? What does that mean? Well, let me just give an example. My little grandson, Joseph, he loves to work with me in the yard. And we've got lots of trees. I've got three acres here. So we'll take the little lawn tractor and the little wagon behind it, and we'll go down to pick up fallen branches. And I'll pick up some big ones, and they'll have to be broken in half so that they'll fit into the little wagon. But he picks up little twigs, and he breaks them in half, too, and puts them in. Now, he doesn't have to break them in half. They fit quite well all by themselves. But he's watching me to see what I do, and that's what he's doing. So his, his work is not perfect, but his heart is perfect, right? So when the Bible says that God is perfect, it means that he's all in. He's totally committed to you. He wants the very best for you. His thoughts concerning you, says David, are more than we can number. Thoughts of good and not of evil. God is always thinking about you, and he's planning things for you. And he's looking for ways to surprise you with joy and to enrich your life and to make you more efficient and effective in your service for God. God is all in on the project. And the question is, are you? That's what it means to be perfect towards him. To have an undivided heart and to be all in. We all know the line, only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Time is moving swiftly by. By the time you're 60, you will have spent 20 years unconscious, in bed, making rude noises. 20 years of 24-hour days. One third of your life is gone sleeping. If you spend two hours a day in buying food, preparing food, and eating food, and that's a minimum, two hours a day, what does that mean? That means one month out of every year, all you do is put food into that gaping maw. If you're spending 40 hours a week at work, what does that look like over a lifetime? You may have two years maximum either for harmless pleasures or for serving the Lord. That's it. There's no time to waste. Number your days and apply your heart to wisdom.